Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is 2018. I am super excited for new beginnings, new goals, new resolutions, and just a whole new fresh start for 2018. Um, I hope everyone had an amazing holiday season. I know it's kind of been a minute since I've actually been on here and done a one-on-one -on -one sit talk with you guys. Um, but I was enjoying the holidays with my family to the fullest as I hope all of you were. Um, I may have enjoyed a little bit too much food, uh, but it's the holidays. There's really, you know, it's not about feeling guilty or anticipation of what you are allowed to eat. It's really about enjoying the time with who you're with. Um, which brings me to my topic. I know that it's 2018 and a lot of us have resolutions and goals, and one of them being fitness goals, um, which comes with going to the gym for the very first time, feeling kind of scared, and then also something which I think is kind of messed up, it's people in the fitness industry that kind of judge those that start going to the gym come January and then just leave. Um, honestly, I think we should all just be supportive. Everyone's trying to better themselves and live a healthier lifestyle. And um, I know that this isn't really for everybody. This way of living, of going to the gym and eating healthy, it's difficult. But um, I think we should all be here to support each other, especially those of us in this industry. We need to support them and um, kind of understand where they're coming from. They might not love working out as much as we do, but that doesn't mean that we have to judge them. So with that being said, I wanted to give some tips for all of you that are going to the gym for the first time or for the first time in a couple months and or you've been to the gym and you just are on the cardio machine because you don't know where else to go. You're just like, a chicken without a head running around or just lost. Number one, get yourself a good killer outfit. I feel that if you look good, you are more confident and I think that a new outfit um, will do that. You want to walk into the gym confident and everyone will think that you've been years at the gym. Two, get in there with a plan. Um, whether it's going to bodybuilding.com, um, I am more than happy to help any of you with my online coaching. I've got different plans. Um, I'm more than happy to work something out with you. Um, if you know you can't afford it or something, just email me, go to my website, monicapias.com or email me at monicapiasmanagement at gmail.com. I know that's a long one. And I wanna help everybody live a healthier life and reach their fitness goals. So go in there with a plan. I have my little notebook and I like to go in there with a plan because it could be a little bit overwhelming. There are so many different equipment like that do the same thing. Um, there's dumbbells, there's this, there's machines for, you know, your quads, your hamstrings, arms, shoulders. So you want to go in there with a plan. It might take a little bit of time on your part to do this beforehand, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Um, well, no, it'll probably take a little bit longer. You know, if you want to do it on your own, go to bodybuilding.com. They've got really, really good programs. And write it down. If you're not sure what a specific exercise is, bodybuilding.com is a great website to help you figure out demonstrations or if not, YouTube. Um, I might do a video actually to show like some demonstrations. So let me know, comment below if you want me to do that. All right, number four, um, if you're having trouble, if you are kind of like freaked out over these huge 
um, plates to put on the squat machine or um, you need help with some bars, your gym should have trainers and they should be more than happy to help you. However, I know because like these commercial gyms, these trainers might want to get you to train with them and it could be kind of annoying because you might just be asking them for, you know, help putting a plate on the Smith machine and they're like, oh, we can train, we can train. Um, I know that's kind of annoying. Um, sorry for anyone that's a trainer. I know you have to have your bread and butter, but sometimes people just want like, to enjoy the workout without having the pressure of having to figure out how to say no. Um, just politely say, um, oh no, not this time, you know, or I'll think about it, thank you very much, and then just run for the hills. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully that won't happen. If it does, just politely say no. Um, you don't need to feel like you have to uh, commit to anything if you're not ready for it. So there's nothing wrong with saying no. I feel like I'm talking so much with my hands. It's the Cuban in me coming out. And last but not least, number five. I know this is probably what you don't wanna hear, but be yourself. Be you, have fun. Um, don't look at the gym like it's something, you know, like going to jail. It really isn't. At one point, we all had to start at the beginning from scratch. Even, you know, the biggest bodybuilders out there, the guy at the gym that looks like the Hulk, he had to start somewhere. And I can assure you that he was just as nervous, just as scared as you are. So be yourself, have fun, and just ignore everybody and remember that everyone had to start somewhere. Um, that is it. These are my top five that I hope will help you fitness newbies at the gym this coming new year. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing like a little quick tutorial on, there's so many workouts, um, but like the machines that you'd most probably be using if you're a newbie. So if you want that video, please comment below and give this a thumbs up. I hope you guys have an amazing year and I can't wait to hear all about your fitness goals and resolutions. Until next time guys, bye. Mm -hmm.